Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is September 12th, 2023. And I want to share with you about the flooding in Libya. There are thousands of people missing. Thousands of people have already been confirmed dead as well catastrophic flooding that is taking place in Libya and the name of the storm is Storm Daniel Storm Daniel in Libya and I see something in the book of Daniel and just before Michael stands up in Daniel chapter 12 one of the last places mentioned in Daniel chapter 11 is actually Libya. Daniel chapter 11 talks about Libya and it talks about the time of the end and then Michael stands up right there at the beginning of Daniel chapter 12. So before we get into uh, the scripture I want to share with you, let's just take a look at a few of these, uh, a little bit of this video footage from the Libya flooding caused by Storm Daniel. Now to breaking news overnight from the North African country of Libya, which may be dealing with an unthinkable loss of life. The Red Cross now says around 10,000 people are missing there after a powerful storm caused two dams to collapse, sweeping away entire neighborhoods on the country's Mediterranean coast. Searchers have yet to make their way to some hard hit areas. This is the same storm system that caused devastating floods in Greece last week. وهذا المحجر وهذيك الطريق كانت تجيلة عند الطريق هث هذه كلها جثث وبعدين سمعنا الانفجار دخل على المنطقة البلاد الناس طبعا راقدة الأغلبية كانت نايمة فهمت ما فيش حد كان مستعد لكن الله غالب هذا شيء صار فقط منزل العائلة كاملة نحن بجيران بعضنا عرفت عدة منازل جنب بعضنا عائلة سقيب فقدنا لعن تو 30 شخص 30 شخص من عائلة واحدة ما قيناش ولا واحد إلى الآن نسكى في العمارة الآن في على الدورة ساعة مع الآخة لا تروش نبحثنا طبعا أول ما هجمنا هجم العصار اللي جاء سيارات كبار وعائلة وسيارات لا الأحمر وضي ضوء ما مشني ضوء في المية العلو رجاء المبنى طبعا المبنى هذا المبنى اللي أنا قريب ثلاثة متر العمارة نحن في الدور لا عندي قريب الدور فيها Okay, so this is Daniel 11, 40 through 45 in the New Living Translation. Then at the time of the end, the king of the south will attack the king of the north. The king of the north will storm out with chariots, charioteers, and a vast navy. He will invade various lands and sweep through them like a flood. He will enter the glorious land of Israel and many nations will fall but Moab, Edom, and the best part of Ammon will escape. He will conquer many countries, and even Egypt will not escape. He will gain control over the gold, silver, and treasures of Egypt, and the Libyans and Ethiopians will be his servants. But then news from the east and north will alarm him, and he will set out in a great anger to destroy and obliterate many. He will stop between the glorious holy mountain and the sea, and will pit pitch his royal tents but while he is there his time will suddenly run out and no one will help him so first of all it's saying that at the time of the end then it mentions a storm the king of the north will storm out and he will invade various lands sweep through them like a flood then it mentions Libya and Ethiopia. 
Okay. Then at the end of this passage, it says, time will suddenly run out. While he is there, his time will suddenly run out. Then if we go into Daniel chapter 12, the next thing it says, at that time, Michael the archangel who stands guard over your nation will arise. Then there will be a time of anguish. Okay, so the, the, arri the arrival of Michael the Archangel, the rising of Michael the Archangel, is shown to us right after this passage that talks about Libya. And the whole connection to, to this is not only the extent of the damage, but the actual name of the storm that is hitting both Greece and Libya which is Storm Daniel. And I shared with you the other day how Greece is also mentioned in the book of Daniel. And now I'm showing you Libya is being mentioned in the book of Daniel. So Storm Daniel is hitting, uh, it already went through Greece and now it is hitting Libya. And this is terrible, catastrophic uh, damage that is taking place. And... I see this as a connection to the time just before Michael is standing up. Now we are in the week of the Feast of Trumpets, leading from the Feast of Trumpets through the Day of Atonement. Then comes the Feast of Tabernacles. And here we are leading up to the Fall Feast. And right now we have Storm Daniel hitting. So this is just another sign of all the other signs that we are seeing connected to where we are right now leading up to the fall feasts on God's holy calendar. Now this passage really caught my attention in Acts chapter 27 where it mentions not only Libya, but it also mentions the Day of Atonement. The fast day, which was the Day of Atonement. Starting in verse 9, this is the New King James Version, starting in verse 9 Acts chapter 27. Now when much time had been spent and sailing was now dangerous because the fast was already over, Paul advised them, saying, okay, now much time had been spent, sailing was now dangerous because the fast was already over. The fast refers to the Day of Atonement. Men, I perceive that this voyage will end with disaster and much loss, not only of the cargo and ship, but also our lives. Nevertheless, the centurion was more persuaded by the helmsman and the owner of the ship than by the things spoken by Paul. And because the harbor was not suitable to winter in, the majority advised to set sail from there also, if by any means they could reach Phoenix, a harbor of Crete, opening toward the southwest and northwest, and winter there. When the south wind blew softly, supposing that they had obtained their desire, putting out to sea, they sailed close by Crete. But not long after, a tempestuous headwind arose called Eroclidon, or the Northeaster. So when the ship was caught and could not head into the wind, we let her drive. Running under the shelter of an island called Clauda, we secured the skiff with difficulty. When they had taken it on board, they used cables to undergird the ship, and fearing lest they should run aground on the Sirtis sands, they struck sail and so were driven. The Sirtis sands, or Sirtis Major, is a body of water in the Mediterranean Sea on the northern coast of Libya. So here in Acts chapter 27... We have a storm coming. It's connected to the Mediterranean Sea and the connection to Libya. And it is mentioned here the timing of the fall and the Day of Atonement is mentioned as they were already past the fast. The fast was already over. And this is referring to the Day of Atonement. 
A calamity of epic proportions, words used to describe the aftermath of Storm Daniel, which hit eastern Libya and the port city of Derna, where two dams burst over the weekend. Emergency workers have uncovered hundreds of bodies in the wreckage, and it's feared the toll could spiral with 10,000 people reported still missing. The death toll in Derna alone is thought to exceed 5,300. Entire neighbourhoods have been washed away, with many bodies swept out to sea. Some aid has started to arrive, including from Egypt, but rescue efforts have been hampered by the political situation in Libya, with the country split between two rival governments. An investigation has been launched into why the floods triggered by the storm were able to cause such devastation. Failure to rebuild properly and maintain infrastructure, including the dams, after years of political conflict is partly to blame for the feared high death toll.